When it comes to hydroelectric plant construction, cost and schedule are usually the primary factors driving material and equipment decisions. Many plants are under pressure to get online to feed either an electricity grid that requires the power or to supply a single host that also has operational deadlines. For the owner, long-term reliability and ease of ownership are also considerations. At the Canoe Creek Hydro Plant in Vancouver Island, British Columbia, with a train up to an 84% grade and the project situated in the Pacific Rim Rainforest, where annual precipitation is among the heaviest in the world, the traditional method of welding the penstock would have been very challenging and staying on schedule would have been next to impossible. To address these issues, Victaulic mechanical couplings were installed in place of welded pipe joints on the penstock. I am John E. Bell, I uh, work for Barclay Project Group, uh, who is a project field manager for Canoe Creek Hydro. Brian Cross with Hazelwood Construction, supervisor in charge of uh, welding, and uh, I uh, prepared the uh, pipe for uh, both welding and for the uh, Victaulic couplings. This is the upper overland section of the Canoe Creek Hydro project. It's a five and a half megawatt project. It's we one meter penstock, steel penstock from the top to the bottom. We've got 476 meters of head. And on this project, a lot of this pipe is used pipe. And this was used pipe out of Alberta. Well, we, we, we recoded it, and then, then we used the big tall couplers on it. To divert flow stream downhill to the powerhouse, a four kilometer, 36 inch, 900 millimeter diameter penstock piping line was constructed. By eliminating the need for welded pipe joints on a majority of the penstock piping, Victaulic allowed for skilled labor reallocation and increased job site productivity. You couldn't have a welder sitting here for six hours. Basically, the whole crew would be shut down, right? And they, they would be parked off in the bush sideways. So it sounds like there was, a, there was a quite a significant overall impact by using Victaulic from the intake all the way down to here. Right down to where you see it, right down to the bridge there. The, uh, that was the last coupler that went on, right? A number of challenges were faced with the Victaulic installation at Canoe Creek. Located in a rainforest, the weather was a constant threat. All parties on the project were also challenged with the need to reduce the environmental footprint of the project. In this situation, we, we could actually keep onto a six meter road width. And uh, we'd have to, of course, the road was dug up. Yes. But we could lift the pipe in and have a machine on either side, and we were able to really minimize the footprint. So ultimately, for you as the owner, that's that's a pretty big feather in your cap with the environmental impact. It was, it was so a big much. deal for, for this critical. project. Right. The contractor's perspective, that uh, that was uh, quite a feat to try to, to uh, build a pipeline. You, where you're basically trenching, you stop, you put a pipe section in, and then you uh, would trench again. The ability to cut pipe to length and groove on site allows contractors and installers to plan, label, and stage equipment according to construction schedules. And then when it's time to install, installations can be completed in a fraction of the time that it takes to complete a welded joint. One of our objectives, of course, is the, uh, that, environmental, that, that environmental impact, minimizing the environmental impact, and uh, um, we, we, so we like that aspect of the college. We found that um, some of the times we didn't anticipate um, angles and or mis misalignments and whatnot. So we uh, we found that it, the, the joints that we did have a, a Victaulic on, they came in uh, pretty handy because we could manipulate the, the miter so we could change your angles slightly. Again, with the Victaulic, you can you can move the pipe around a lot easier. Once assembled, the mechanical coupling provides a union at every joint, allowing for ease in future system access and maintenance. We can now take it apart, maintain the expansion joint much more easily. No flame is required to install a mechanical coupling, eliminating the safety concerns associated with welding. No fume or smoke extraction equipment is needed, nor do precautions such as a fire watch need to be taken. You know, we, we wanted this project to be obviously one of the big paramount things was it was of safety. And uh, with the use of the Victaulics, we avoided a lot of, uh, you know, level three, Enclosure. Joining pipe with a mechanical coupling is up to five times faster than welding. The, the pipe assembly was one of the quicker parts. Oh, for sure. With welding, we might have been able to get it down to six hours, eight hours, yeah. or something like that, a, a weld. So we would have been able to do one piece of pipe a day. And so, I mean, that's, that's three or four times the speed. And I said, if I don't have to ever do another welded joint again, I'll make my, my life a lot easier. <laughs> yep. Yeah.